Change is one of those things you either love or you hate. Now for me, I somewhat enjoy change. I think life's too short, you need to push yourself, try new things, and so forth. Not bad. Could work a goatee, I think. Wait, is this, is this a goatee? No, that's a goatee. What would we call this? We call this the, uh, the Doctor Strange facial hair setup. We could rock this, I feel like I'm quite, quite smart. Okay. I enjoy doing things that are different and that are new to me. So, I've never ever had this before. I've had a beard, but not any other sort of thing. And I wish that this was where we were stopping, but we're not. Now I feel where. I feel French or, or something. Uh, how you say in my country? Je m'appelle, je suis, uh, je m'appelle David Newman, uh, je suis London, je suis. My French is really bad, but okay. See, and this is what change is all about. It's doing something new, having fun with it. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Uh, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really like it for some reason, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's because it's different. But one of the reasons is it's November, which I don't know if it's a worldwide thing or just in the UK. It means it's Movember, which is you have a little moustache to raise awareness for testicular cancer. This is very, very dangerous without looking in the mirror because all I'm looking for is this tiny little screen. Okay, let me, let me finish off this and then I'll explain the second reason. You know what, I feel like I look, <laughs> I look like Freddie Mercury. I don't have the voice. Like Freddy, cut myself a little bit. That's what happens when your dad walks out on you, you know, he never taught you how to shave. I think Andriana's gonna go a little bit crazy when she sees this. I don't know, I like it, I like it. See, that's what I mean, I like change, guys. I do look a little bit like a paedophile, probably, but I'm not, so what does it matter? I, I, I think maybe it's because I like being a topic of discussion or conversation. And people are definitely gonna talk about this when I go to work. And that's if Andriana lets me rock this because it is Leo's first birthday this month. So I don't think she's gonna be too happy if like all of the pictures I look like this, but I don't know. See, I like it guys, I like it. So the second thing, <laughs> I can't get over this. Now the second reason, well not necessarily for this, wait, 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 sorry. I have to put glasses on. Oh yes, I look, I look, I look like a professor. Professor of something. <laughs> right. Now, the second reason, not necessarily for this, but the second reason for change is due to a documentary. Now, somebody at work told me to watch this documentary um, about being plant-based and vegan and the effects that it has on you. And straight away, I was like, hell to the no. I'm not watching that crap because I don't believe in it, you know? I'm a personal trainer by trade. Whilst I believe in looking into different studies and researches as the industry grows, I always just thought, you need meat to get enough protein in your body to kind of look like Arnold or whoever, right? Top athletes. These are people that perform four to eight hours every single day in the gym training. They need that meat and that protein to rebuild. And then I watched the documentary and it did make me think otherwise. And I hate to say it, it made me think otherwise. It did. Now. I'm quite skeptic, skeptic, skeptic. I'm not skeptic, skeptic is like an infection. Skeptical, got that. Now, I'm a skeptical person, right? So I watched this documentary and yeah, you know, they had a lot of science, they had a lot of research to build it up. Uh, top athletes as well, Messi, Lewis Hamilton, um, Serena Williams, Nate Diaz, a UFC fighter, Olympians, and tons and tons and tons of pro athletes are eating plant-based diets. And a lot of these athletes were saying, oh, you know, as soon as I, turn over to plant-based. Uh, within a couple of weeks, I felt amazing. NFL players were saying that their game completely changed. That that's the sole reason for the team going up to uh, the playoffs and all these other reasons from other athletes. Now for me, I'm very skeptical, like I said, so I just didn't believe it. I still don't believe it, if I'm being honest. So that's why I'm going to go vegan. I'm gonna go plant-based. I don't know if it's still called vegan, because I think vegan is when you stuff like you don't use certain shower gels uh, that contain animal products and stuff like that. For me, it's just a diet. So I'm just gonna go plant-based. I'm gonna try and do it for the rest of November. Today is the fourth, this video will be out tomorrow. So 25 days of eating plant-based food. 
Now, we're going to Cyprus, so that's going to be hard. It's Leo's birthday as well, and if, if I'm being honest, I just like eating meat. So, I'm not doing this for the taste, I'm simply doing it to see if I feel better, if I feel more optimal, if I can train better, train longer, recover quicker, and all of these things like this documentary said. Maybe doing this, I can sleep like five hours and feel great. Now, you can't just have a plant-based diet, you need to have vitamins and stuff like that, because obviously you won't be getting certain nutrients. Um, I think the main one is vitamin B12, but I already take supplements anyway, I already take multivitamins, so for me, it's not really that much of a change. The main thing is, I actually don't like eating salads and grains. I don't mind rice and pasta, but I just, I'm very fussy, so it's gonna be hard for me, but I just need to think, I'm not eating to enjoy it, I'm just eating for the performance side of things. I get it, all right? <laughs> You're thinking, David, what's gone on with you? What is the matter with your facial hair right now? You're talking all this gibberish about plant-based food and going vegan, like, what have you taken? Maybe I'm having a midlife crisis, but I'm only 27. I just want to give it a go. I know so many people that have watched this documentary. A couple of people, including family, have actually gone vegan uh, only for about a week or so. They haven't said that they've noticed too much change. But again, I probably wouldn't believe them if they was like, oh yeah, I feel amazing. Um, I can sleep so much better. My performance is a lot better. Hey! 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 Try, I'm trying to record a video here, guys, and we've got like, construction workers. I mean, guys, if you could be a little bit less noisy, that would be great. Are you done? Thank you. I appreciate that. So, this motherfucker. You know what, guys? I probably wouldn't take myself too serious either. If I watched somebody that had just like done this to the face, talking about going vegan, I'd be like, mate, you've lost it. I want to try it out for myself and see if I feel any better. All right, we'll see. I'll give you an unbiased opinion. And quite frankly, I enjoy eating meat. So I think that's going to be my biggest con when it gets to the end is, yeah, it made me feel better. But, I didn't enjoy eating, and I enjoy eating pizza. There's a lot of health benefits to obviously going plant-based as well, not just for performance. It reduces your chances of getting heart disease, uh, certain cancers, um, obesity, which for me, I just kind of think, well, that's because you're at a calorie deficit being vegan, right? It's gonna be a lot harder to get a calorie surplus whilst you're eating all of those leaves. But anyway, guys, I could go on for hours. So either watch the documentary on Netflix, like I said, it's called The Game Changers, I believe, or just do some research into it. It might blow your mind a little bit, or you might just think it's BS. Uh, Leo's asleep and Andrana's at work at the moment. Now, obviously neither of them have seen this look, so I'd be interested to see what Leo thinks of it. Knowing Leo, he probably won't even care, but let's see what Andrana thinks of it when she gets back from work. I think she's gonna hate it. I can hear Leo just waking up. Let's, uh, let's see what he has to say. What are you doing? What's that? Does that mean you like it? You like it? You like it? Hmm. Oh, I think I think Leo's a fan. I don't know. Are you trying to ignore me? You're like that's not my dad. You trying to ignore me? You trying to ignore me? You saying that's not my dad? My dad doesn't have a weird moustache. He had a manly beard. Leo seems fine by it, but I don't think Andriana will be. She'll be back in about an hour. Shall we see what she has to say in an hour? Yeah? Andriana has just pulled up outside. Should we go and show mummy my new face? I shaved my face today. Because I thought I'd fuck Natash. <laughs> Yeah, it's lovely. not Look funny, at him. Leo. He's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Leo's a fan. Oh my god, that is awful. Leo likes it. Leo's a fan of it. Hello, baby boy. It's not awful. That is awful. It's not awful. I look good, no? Oh my gosh. I look good. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. No, I promise you, you don't. <laughs> what do you mean I don't? No, I look good. You do not look good. I promise you, you do not look good. I do not. I don't think I do. Oh my god, you look about 50 years old. <laughs> That's why I like it. It's new. <laughs> oh my god, you look like. You actually, all I can see is that ginger moustache emoji. 
<laughs> I know what one you're talking about. That's all I can see. You got it that bad. No, you look really bad. You're gonna have to shave that off. No, I like it. I'm keeping it. Promise. For the rest of November. Promise. Yeah, I like it. I really do. Are you joking? You're no, not keeping Leo, that. No, Leo, do you like it? David, I'm not joking. You're not keeping that on your face. I am. I like no, it. No, you're not keeping that on your face. I am. Do you like it? Yeah, Probably a little you bit. Like it. I do. You're gonna keep that. Yeah. Promise. <laughs> Promise. You're not keeping that. I promise you, you're not keeping that. I am. No, you're not. I am. David, you're not keeping that. We're not going out looking like that. I'm not joking. You look really bad. You can't go out like that. Of course I can. You actually look, you've added like 40 years onto your life. 40 years? I look cool. I promise you, you do not look cool. You look the opposite of cool. Super cool. No, I promise you, I can't even. Leo, look how bad daddy looks. He loves it. He's a fan. I look sophisticated. Do you you look like a paedophile. <laughs> you look like a 60 year old paedophile. I'm genuinely not joking. I've never been so serious about anything in my life. <laughs> that is awful. I don't think I look cool. You're I, I think I look I a little see. bit like Freddie Mercury. Yes! Oh <laughs> yeah. my god, that's so bad. You want to look like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Why not? That's what man. you look like. Oh Why my not? god, it looks so daddy. bad. Freddie daddy. Mercury. He said daddy. No, I'm sorry, but why have you done that? Change. Change is good. Yeah, and I will change it again. <laughs> you can't. I promise you I will change it. No, you won't. I promise you I'm going to change that. <laughs> you won't. I'm not joking. You can't go out looking like that. You look bad. Look good. So I think we're going to eat this food. It's not bad for day one of veganism or plant-based diet. It's bad. It's not. And then I'm gonna update the tash. I think I'm gonna take these handlebars off. I'm gonna shave these bits off here. Okay. I could deal with this. Don't know if it looks much better. I don't know. I don't know if I like this better than the handlebars. I'm not gonna lie. I had a thing for the handlebars. I think they look good. Had the old gentleman's handlebar moustache going. This definitely just makes me look a little bit French. What do you think? Is it better or worse? Uh, oh, I just gone. Is it better or worse? <laughs> wow, what happened to this boy? <laughs> Is it better or worse? I actually can't. Is I it actually worse? can't. I think with the handlebars, I look like sophisticated. No, you look like this looks a bit better, but it still looks bad. Like, it looks really bad. Like, what is this little thing? It's for tickling. Look <laughs> <laughs> at your son. Leo, that's not how you eat. That's not how you eat, mate. No. These are a mess. Right, guys. This is where we're going to end today's video. All about changes. Big life changes. David's going to have a moustache. And then I'm going to shave it off. You're not. I'm going to shave it off. I will off. shave your eyebrow off if you come near me. Yeah? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Comment how bad David's moustache looks, guys. I guess it's for a good cause, but... Or comment how cool I look. Thank you. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button, all right? So you can see an update of how this vegan stuff goes, how the moustache goes. And guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. I really can't do it. I'm standing here. I'm just like, okay, shave it, shave it. I keep turning on the and I just can't bring myself to do it.